I hit 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, for this video, I'm actually celebrating the fact that I hit 5,000 subscribers. Now, a year and a half ago when I created this channel, I never really thought that I would hit this milestone, at least in my opinion, mostly because I never really thought that I would actually continue with my booktube channel. When I started my booktube channel, I kind of always thought that this was just going to be a side project, something that I'll kind of post here and there, and something that I just wouldn't really pay much attention to, mostly because I had other social media channels to discuss books and other social media channels channels where I just felt like it took less time than booktube. But the more I interacted with you guys and the more I interacted with other booktubers and the more I interacted with my friends who also turned into booktubers, the more I fell in love with booktube. So thank you so much for watching my videos, whether you started from the very beginning or you came in the middle or you just came. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey and I can't thank you enough for actually watching my videos because sometimes and a lot of times I post videos that I'm unsure of. There are videos where I don't feel like that they're actually of good quality and there's actually videos where I feel like I could have said things a little bit better but you guys still stuck around. But with that being said, hitting 5,000 subscribers is a big milestone for me because I know how hard it is for a booktuber to grow and how it's kind of like a roller coaster of emotions a lot of the times. There's a lot of times where you film a video, you spend a lot of time on it, and you expect a certain reaction to it, you expect a certain number of views, and you start expecting a lot of these numbers, but when you don't get it, sometimes you kind of feel let down, you kind of hit the low in the roller coaster ride, and you just feel discouraged overall from ever continuing posting these booktube videos. So growth on booktube is very difficult to happen, and I know that I would have never got into where I am if I didn't have a support system, if I didn't have friends that gave me shout outs, if I didn't have people that recognized me and actually mentioned me in their videos. So really I want to thank the bigger YouTubers too for shouting me out and giving me the chance to showcase you my personality, my charms, and whatever the freak I have to say about books. So thank you obviously to my best friend Jessica from Peace Love Books for always consistently working with me on readathons and for giving me shout outs. So really thank you to Chelsea Dolan Reads for giving me a shout out when I first started and when she was filming her Christmas vlogs. And also I want to thank Riley from Riley Marie here on booktube who also does romance books for also giving me a shout out when I first started here on booktube. And I also want to thank Chandler from Chandler Ansley for giving me a shout out the day that I'm filming this because it just meant the world to me that a lot of these bigger creators actually found a smaller creator such as me and actually watched my videos. Basically I want to thank the bigger YouTubers for actually finding me and actually paying attention to me and actually spending time to watch my videos especially the videos where I feel like I'm always lacking in some sort of way when we're comparing my videos to their higher quality videos. So thank you so much. So really I could have never made it this far without also another network of people of smaller booktubers who were willing to work with me for readathons who are willing to talk to me. Thank you to all the smaller booktubers and smaller creators. So with that all being said, I want to take the time right now to share with you some of the smaller booktubers that I actually watch and that I actually really enjoy. And I know I'm not the biggest booktuber and I'm not the biggest influencer, but I really do hope you stick around and follow some really great booktubers and smaller creators that you will enjoy just as much as you enjoy my videos. So the first smaller booktuber that I want to give a shout out to is someone that I actually watch consistently every single week, mostly because she does a lot of cleaning vlogs and she does does a lot of weekly vlogs as well and I like to watch her vlogs when I'm cleaning up the mess in my life. So her name is Karen and her channel is actually Karen Chronicles and she just has this like really minimalist aesthetic that I really appreciate. Her vlogs are always very soothing. She seems like she's a very happy and soothing person. So if you guys want soothing reading vlogs and soothing cleaning vlogs definitely go check her out. I really like her style in her videos and her thumbnails as well because they're just so minimalist and I could never pull it off. So the next small booktuber that I want to give a shout out to is someone that I actually discovered recently and I really like her videos. I feel like her videos have very high quality, it's filmed very nicely, and she also talks about romance novels and also historical romance. So if you guys are a fan of that, definitely go check out Meg from By the Book. I love her videos. I find that she talks with a lot of enthusiasm, something that I lack in for a majority of my videos, and she talks very eloquently about the books and she gives great reviews. And she has a similar reading taste to me as well, 
with the traditionally published romance. So if you're a fan of that, definitely go check it out. So the next booktuber that I want to give a shout out to is actually Kiana from Just Key. And I really like her videos. I think I discovered her first because she was actually a follower of mine on Instagram. And then we were like in a booktube live or something. And then there was a chat thing. And then I don't know what the origin story of our like beginning of where I found her videos, but I subscribed to her and I really enjoy her videos specifically because she does these author dives for these indie romance authors that I've never tried before. But she has the ability to make these videos in a very condensed format in like maybe like four to five minutes. She can actually talk about like this whole entire series and it gives me enough so that it makes me want to read the books. So if you guys are a fan of indie romances, if you guys are a fan of romance novels in general, definitely go check out Kiana. So I think the next booktuber that I want to give a shout out to is someone that is already in like the thousand subscriber range. I still consider them pretty small, but he's actually my friend Charles from Books on Stereo. I really like Charles videos because I just like Charles in general and also I like his personality that comes off on camera. When I was talking to him about making booktube videos and being on booktube and things like that, he actually taught me about his process and his process is actually that he actually scripts all his videos so that he knows exactly what he needs to say. He hits all the points that he wants to speak about about the book that he hated or that he loved. It just condenses his filming time while making his videos seem very smooth and very professional. So if you guys want really quick reviews or if you guys just want rapid videos where you know it's just pure content, definitely check out Charles. Now the next booktuber that I want to give a shout out to is actually Katie from Katie McPike. She recently started her booktube channel I think a couple months ago but I'm very impressed with her video quality. I'm very impressed with her actually being in front of the camera. I feel like that she's a very comfortable person in front of the camera and she talks about romance books a lot and she talks about life in general a lot too. I really enjoy her videos and her thumbnails are gorgeous and her makeup is always so pretty so definitely go check her out if you guys love romance as much as me. So the next booktuber that I want to give a shout out to and I'm so sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. I'm so sorry. It really does happen to me all the time but Naima from Naima Read but honestly I do love her videos so much. I feel like her videos have very high quality to filming to it as well. She has a great personality. She's also very sweet. She knows how to talk in front of the camera and she also reads a lot of traditionally published romance but also with a heavy dose of indie romances. So the next booktuber that I want to give a shout out to is actually Donna from Donna. Yeah I don't know how to say her last name and I've and I just don't want to butcher it. But Donna is a lovely person. She's also Canadian, which I really liked and enjoyed because there's very few Canadian booktubers here that I really know of. And she actually lives in a province that I've never been to before. I think she lives in Manitoba. But Donna actually reads a lot of YA books. That's why I really appreciate her because then I could just go to her for like YA fantasy, YA romance, YA contemporary, Rex, and everything like that. I also really enjoy her thumbnails because she actually has like a very artistic eye and she is able to create really interesting thumbnails and her filming quality is really great too. She knows how to speak in front of the camera. She's kind of sarcastic and kind of witty a lot of the times so I really enjoy her videos and if you guys want an aesthetic YouTuber definitely go check out Donna. So the next booktuber that I want to give a shout out to is actually my friend Eden from Eden is Reading. I actually discovered her on Bookstagram because she was on my explore page and I really liked her pictures. Her pictures were just really pretty and very gorgeous. Now Eden actually reads a lot of YA and she tends to read a lot of YA fantasy which is not a genre that I have gotten myself into but Eden is very sweet and she just has this wonderful bubbly sweet personality on camera that I really enjoy and I also love her vlogs a lot. Um, she reads a lot of books in her vlogs and she also does a lot of fun things. She hangs out with her grandma, she bakes, I don't know. It's just such a fun sweet vlog every time so definitely go check out Eden. So the next booktuber that I want to give a shout out to is actually another fellow Canadian but she's actually French Canadian so here we go trying to butcher her name. Amélie from Amélie. Emily Boucher. Ah, sorry, I just messed up your name and with my like grade seven French, but uh, very apologies. But I really like her vlogs. I really like her videos. She actually reads a lot of YA and she also reads a lot of romance novels. And they're the typical romance novels that I would gravitate to and that I actually read. I just really like her aesthetic. I really like how she's very calming and very soothing once again. For some reason, I just love the soothing booktubers, but I'm never a soothing booktuber. I'm the more of the chaotic one. So the next booktuber that I want to give a shout out to is this one very sweet person and you have Emma and Emma is reading is her YouTube channel. Definitely go check her out if you guys want YA contemporary, YA fantasy, YA sci-fi, YA anything wreck. I feel like she's just such a nice person and I think I connected with her because she joined the historical romance readathon 
in one of the sessions that we had last year and then I watched her read a historical romance for the first time and watched her really enjoy it so it just made my heart swell up to three sizes that day. So the next small booktuber that I want to give a shout out to is actually one of my friends once again. Her name is Desiree from Genki Reader and now I went on YouTube did the whole pronunciation thing so apologies if I still said it wrong but love Desiree. She has a very aesthetic videos once again. She has a lot of reading vlogs. She has a lot of cleaning vlogs. She does a lot of decorations in her room for Christmas. It's a whole thing and I really enjoy watching her do everything that she does to make herself more comfortable and to make herself love the living areas that she is in. She also constantly makes fun of me because my room is a constant mess and it drives her anxiety up the walls but I apologize for that. Go check her out if you love reading manga, if you guys like Japanese movies, if you guys like J-pop, if you guys like just lots of fun stuff go check her out she also reads a lot of romance as well so the last person that i want to give a shout out to is actually another friend of mine her name is samantha from books with samantha if you guys haven't watched her videos yet definitely go check her out if you guys haven't watched samantha yet definitely go check her out because she loves historical romance as much as me and she loves romance novels as just as me and she always participates in the funnest readathons ever and she vlogs about it and she's just a very sweet and nice person but she's also sassy which i love about her and also i really like how how she does her makeup. I feel like she's so talented with her makeup. There is a video where she actually did like a historical romance makeup look that I think that just blew it out of the park. She honestly deserves more views. If she were to put out more videos on tutorials of how she does her makeup, with talking about books it's like i will watch it like a hundred times a day but anyways that is it for all the small booktubers that i currently watch right now that i really love and really enjoy so hopefully you guys found some booktubers to add to your watch list and to add to your subscription channel thank you so much once again for everybody who has followed me and thank you so much for everybody who has been supporting me during these times where i often struggle with finding my voice and struggle with creating content that i think is worthy of your attention but obviously i also want to give a big shout out to like my best friends here on booktube that constantly support me that also give me a vote of confidence when I'm feeling a little bit down about myself. You guys probably already know them but it's Jessica from Peace Love Books and also Lacey from Lacey Book Lovers. I feel so bad for these two people because honestly every time at 2 a.m. I'm always in their inbox or I'm always in their messages just screaming about something going on in my life that they don't need to know about but I just vent to them. They're the sweetest people ever and they reassure me constantly and they always give me advice. So thank you to my two best friends. But anyways, until next time, I'll see you guys again with another video. Bye.